Well, here in Wales, we're on a national mission to raise standards for all of our students, to close the attainment gap, and to ensure that we have an education system in Wales that is a source of national pride and, crucially, enjoys public confidence. And at the heart of that, at the heart of it, is ensuring that, yes, our children need to be literate, they need to be numerate, but because of the world in which we're sending them out in, they need to be digitally competent too. Becoming a technology partner for Wales was a no-brainer, really. Uh, Adobe has a mission for, of creativity for all, and when we thought about what they were trying to do to promote digital literacy for every single learner across Wales, it just felt like the perfect opportunity for us to work with them to partner to get Adobe Spark into the hands of every learner and teacher across the whole country. The new digital framework in Wales is now um, making sure that digital skills are as important, have got the same status as literacy and numeracy. So we are now well on the way to making sure that the learners are leaving school with these skills. So digital skills are essential to teaching literacy and numeracy. Um, it engages the children and it helps with their speech as well. There's so many apps now where we can record an Adobe video. It was great for that. The, the children in the background have been working on that today. And it just expands um, their knowledge and creativity as well, which creativity and literacy go hand in hand these days, in my opinion. We need to ensure that pupils, wherever they're doing their learning, has equal access and the chance to engage in digital competency and digital learning. That's why we've developed our Hub Login um, digital learning platform, uh, available to every single child and practitioner. That gives them access to wonderful, wonderful resources. Crucially, for a bilingual education system, those resources are available in English and Welsh. And I have to say, I don't know what we would have done in the pandemic without the Hub Digital Learning Platform. It has really allowed teachers to keep in touch with their students and to keep people learning. It's so much easier because it's part of Hub and they have the same username and password to log into Hub and then they can log in easily to Adobe Spark. I like it because it's really easy to use. It's not complicated and you don't need to be like, you don't have to have experience with it to be able to use it. It's just kind of fun to kind of express yourself in a different way without having to like say it out loud, kind of do it with technology. I'm very nervous and uh, yeah, it's better than just going in front of the class and seeing everything. I can just present my work by using Adobe Spark. So the partnership consists of uh, us rolling out Adobe Spark to every single student and teacher across primary and secondary schools in Wales. Um, we turned the platform, the Adobe Spark web platform, into Welsh as well as English for them to support their needs. And then we built on top of that with the Adobe Education Exchange, making sure that they got access to lesson plans and uh, development guides for their teachers. Yes, I did participate in the Adobe Creative Educators programme. It was hugely beneficial. I got to collaborate and share ideas with people from all over the world. And it certainly enhanced um, my thinking of creativity and um, how I can use and develop that in the classroom. I have to say, being a part of the Adobe Creative Educators Programme was one of the highlights of lockdown for me because I was able to um, collaborate with teachers from across Wales and have help from um, others outside of Wales, in America even, and in Finland. Well, the partnership with Adobe has been particularly successful in ensuring that Wales becomes the first nation where uh, all of our children and young people and our practitioners uh, have access to uh, Adobe Spark applications. And the feedback from professionals has been really, really spectacular. And even more importantly, the feedback from children and young people to have access to these resources has been fantastic. When I started to teach, um, I don't think I could have imagined that I'd be setting this kind of, kind of work and getting the results that look so professional. The literacy element is the most important element for me and because the um, digital element is so easy to use, it's not taking up their time. Engagement, any time we use um, the Chromebooks or the iPads, every single child in the classroom is on task without a doubt and it's brilliant as well as homework if they have devices at home um, it's a great way for them to be able to learn to work independently. 
Those so-called soft skills, you know, putting them on an equal footing with literacy and numeracy is really important because we know that employers are really looking for creativity as well as you know, digital uh, literacy. Well, I'm hopeful that we can continue to develop the strong relationship we already have with Adobe and look to see what other opportunities may be available for our education system working alongside them. And crucially, as I said, uh, not just making product available to uh, children and young people, but working with our professionals so that they have the skills to really exploit that to its fullest extent. It's probably one of the best things we've done all year, um, to put the platform in the hands of 530,000 people across an entire country. It's the first time that's ever been done to get Adobe Spark rolled out nationwide. We always love to see students and teachers you know, blossom and develop, but when you get the opportunity of doing it on this scale, you know, nothing beats that.